It's the year 1896. A man enters the hospital with a snake bite wound. He gets treated with snake antivenom made from horse serum. The man does not die, but a few days later, he gets a severe rash, itch, and even a fever. The patient was suffering from a classic case of serum sickness, and the unwanted side effects were caused by a sugar molecule called new 5 gc new 5 gc can be found on the cell surface of almost all living mammals, even our closest relatives, the primates, but not in humans. We lost the ability to make this sugar millions of years ago due to a genetic mutation. So new 5 gc is now a foreign sugar. We instead contain another version called new 5 ac known as the human sugar. The interesting question is, if new 5 gc is now a foreign sugar, when did our immune system first learn and to recognize and act against it as a foreign molecule? Recent studies have strongly proposed that this occurs during infancy, when babies first start consuming baby food containing meat. Dietary new foreign sugar new 5 gc in the baby food passes through the baby's throat, and residing bacteria in the throat takes up the foreign sugar and adds it on its cell surface. This triggers the very first immune responses against it. To test if this hypothesis holds true, my strategy involved supplementing the proposed throat bacterial homophilus influenzae with both the foreign sugar new 5 gc and the human sugar new 5 ac And I wanted to see if the bacteria had a preference for one sugar over the other. My results showed that the bacteria predominantly adds the human sugar and none of the foreign sugar at all. The bacteria had adapted efficiently to live in us, a human sugar new 5 ac specific host, and not in any other host species. This makes the baby food hypothesis seem unlikely, so there has to be another way in which antibodies are generated against foreign sugar new 5 gc research through the years have associated new 5 gc with chronic inflammation leading to both heart disease and cancer. It makes it imperative that we understand the biology behind foreign sugar new 5 gc. How and where does foreign sugar new 5 gc interactions occur are key questions I am addressing in my PhD thesis. Thank you very much.